situation or crisis, I should say, mm-hmm. is now driving a rise in kidnappings as desperate Nigerians turn to crime for income. Dr. Awal Abdullahi Aliu is a Kaduna-based security expert, and I've spoken to him and f- started by finding out how economic hardship is playing a role in driving individuals towards criminal activities such as kidnappings. Well, like you know, uh, Nigeria, just like any other African country or even globally, there is uh, this issue of poverty, unemployment, and hunger. It was most recently it was discovered that uh, kidnapping for ransom has become a lucrative business um, in Nigeria. It's a lucrative business by those that are perpetrating this act and the they are not willing to leave while the government, most especially our security agencies, are doing their best in making sure that they have been dislodged. Yeah, and Dr. Awal, as you've already intimated, the prevalence of mass abductions has been described as a nationwide industry in Nigeria. Could mm. you elaborate on the dynamics of this industry, including the actors involved and, of course, the more methods that they are employing? There are about 200 syndicate groups of these very people that are perpetrating these crimes. Now, as they operate uh, these uh, different syndicate groups, first, they have a line of people who are their informant, people who give them information on who to arrest, who has money, who doesn't have money, what is whose capacity, the position of the, uh, the person, where he is regularly is, or she or he is regularly is, or the timing that will be good for a strike. The second set of syndicate group are those that supply them with food items because they are in the bush. The third syndicate group that we discover is a group of women who now go to supply them to give them, uh, you know, uh, the necessary the services that naturally women give uh, to men. Then they have the syndicate group of arm suppliers. Those arm suppliers do not supply them with food or information. No, theirs is just they do gun running for them. They do arms uh, supply. Then there's a team of sponsors. They, those are the influencers. Those that have influence of, on them, that can tell them do this, they do, or don't do this, and they stop. So this is how complicated the chain and the syndicate group line up is for our security agencies to be able to curtail and control you know, the security uh, situation. And, 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 and uh, Dr. Awal, you- you mm-hmm. mentioning that sounds very complex, and as Nigeria continues to grapple with this escalating crisis, what measures mm-hmm. do you believe are necessary to effectively address the root causes and mitigate the incidence of uh, kidnappings? And, and here I'm talking about temporary before we go to even the permanent solution. Right now, what the Nigerian government is using is a stick approach. The gone, 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 which has been going on, if you take the Boko Haram for almost 15 years now. The non-kinetic approach, we think, and want to strongly believe for now, is one way that will assist in solving this problem by 50, 60, 65 percent. Because the kinetic approach or the stick approach has not helped matters up till now. There will never going to be a time where this thing will stop if you do not call them to begin to discuss with them, to make them understand where the problem started, why it is the way it is, and asking them how can this, how can they assist in solving these problems. And tell me, if in the next 30 days you will not find a total silence as far as the issue of this kidnapping and banditry is concerned, because they will tell you who are the people involved, how they operate, where they operate from, the time they operate, the capacity that they have, they will tell you everything. And yeah. tell me, if you get to know all these things, have you not solved this problem by 60%? Mm, you've solved it by 60%. Dr. Awal Abdullahi heads a consortium of peace initiative in Nigeria. And of course, on our Facebook, we asked, did money extend?